Hello, and um, my name is Linnell Forrest. I'm glad everyone could join me today. We're going to talk about uh, uh, tools to view and track your students' grades and progress within the Canvas Analytics. So there are uh, things that we want to cover uh, within the next uh, few minutes. Uh, first of all, uh, what are we doing now uh, within Canvas uh, as far as data is concerned? Are we looking at data? I have two polls out there. Uh, I hope uh, you join them and put in your choices. The first one is a, I think it can select one or two. There's a checkbox type of thing. And that one is for where's my go-to place for the things I'm currently using now to explore data within Canvas. And then the second one is a ranking. Uh, rank your favorite stuff uh, inside of uh, Canvas to help, you know, what helps you track your students' progress. Other things that we might be talking about is uh, why should I look at data? Um, and also I want to review the reports that I've been looking at for the last few months, the new analytics report, the access report, and the interactions report. Uh, and then, of course, where to find support. Uh, during this uh, presentation, I want to show ways of keeping, uh, well, ways that I've been keeping my own notes uh, about the, the different reports and how I would use them. And I even made a cross comparisons list. So what are we doing now? Let's visit a poll or return to our poll. Uh, what is your go-to place for getting students uh, uh, data performance information? These are the most popular things that are being used right now is Canvas Gradebook, which is, I kind of expected that. I keep my own notes. The Canvas, there's some people already using the Canvas Access Report. There's a few people who analytics and um, the Interactions Report and the new analytics are, are tied. And the Canvas People area, I think that's at zero right now. Sometimes people go into that area to take a look and see what the what the, the last time somebody accessed the course. Oh, yeah. And we have yet another poll. Uh, and this is about my favorite ways to see my students progress. And this is a ranking where you can rank your favorite way. Um, if, if what if your favorite thing is the assignments and the grades in the grade book and stuff like that, you can put that as number one. Okay, yes, assignment grades, the grade book, very popular areas to go for finding out what your uh, students are doing. And the TAs, uh, let's see, Canvas messaging, FAU email. So still the number one thing to do is to go into the grade book. Are these my students? And uh, you can see a very generic look at um, a representation of our students, or are these our students? And in this case, we have parents that are, well, their lives, as you know, they're very busy. Uh, moms and dads, people who have became parents out of circumstances, um, people who care for our family and children and go to school to better their family's circumstances. These are our students, first responders and caregivers. And we know that people's lives have changed uh, very recently. So when life events change, will those new circumstances change the path of our students while they're in our course? Or were they successful at one time and then all of a sudden change direction? Uh, is it time to uh, intervene and uh, offer them help and guidance for a more successful path? So why should I look at student data? Well, being a parent, is a, is a very challenging lifestyle. The instructor, I, I know instructors know this. I know that they reach to their students uh, and uh, interacting with them uh, through um, messaging, but also looking and seeing their, the path of their accessing the, cor the, the course, logging into Canvas, attending the course, uh, participating in the discussions, participating in the activities. In the fourth week, let's say that I noticed my exemplary student performance uh, changed. And the data can reveal changes in performance and attendance, and we can see those changes and we can act quickly. I believe that uh, our analytics data can help us understand uh, where people are going inside the course, 
what the performance is, the activities, the assignment submissions, their grades, and the student information. So uh, this is my kind of cheat sheet that I've been working on lately. What questions did I have and how did I answer them? And this, this uh, table helps me go back and say, where did I find that data? Aha, this is where I found it. So one question that I have is, do I need to grade anything? Is anything left ungraded? And the way that I found this is through the interactions report. And so you can go, and here's directions of how you can go to a specific area and then you can click on certain things to find that data. And it says, whoa, uh, you, you forgot to grade these things. They're still sitting there as ungraded. Are there assignments that we were not that were not submitted on time by my students? That's a good question. Can I sort the completed status for assignments uh, for like percentage on time? And inside the new analytics, there's a sorting tool where you have your columns of information and you can sort them any way you want to. So yes, you can sort data within the Canvas uh, reports area, and mostly, and you can do that inside of inter interactions as well. And Linnell, would you give us a little bit of rationale for looking at those various uh, formats on the data, please? Awesome question, because if I have a group of students that are not doing something on time, I, I wanna know why. So there is a criteria-based messaging that I can do inside the new analytics uh, environment where I can select the, the students that didn't complete something on time. I can select, uh, a button for that. It's, it looks like a little envelope and I can message them and they don't see each other. I only see them. So it's kind of like a blind carbon copy type of thing. But I can say, well, for these three students, um, I can say, hello, can I, you know, reach out to them and ask them if I can help in any way. I get that. So that, so that it's a way of letting them know that, that, you have noticed and that you have concerns. Thank you. Here's one way of getting to the new analytics. Uh, you can either go through the navigation area in your course, or you can click on the right side button uh, called new analytics on your home page. And this version of new analytics is not the old version that we've been using for the last five years. That was called view analytics. Uh, the new analytics uh, tool was uh, released across all institutions of uh, that use Canvas in March of 2020. So I'm not sure if everyone has been able to test it out, but it's great to go in there and click around and look at a different, a variety of views. You have your graph view and you also have a table view. And here's some, uh, just, a, just a brief overview of what new analytics can do. And with new analytics, we have a, a couple different views. We have a data table and display shapes. And display shapes is like the the uh, the graph version. Somebody had a question that uh, they don't see new analytics link uh, in the navigation. Um, is oh, is that? Um, I know I think, why. I think you have to add yeah. it. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you might have to add it. You'll have to go into your settings. It should be available on all courses on the right hand side of your homepage in, in your course. So that should be standard. And if you're an instructor in the course, you should be able to see that on the right-hand side. So let me go back to that right there. Uh, where on the right-hand side of your, your course, it should always be there. Now, if it's not in the navigation area, you'll have to add it through settings. So uh, in a new analytics, you have chart options. I like to see this because it, you know, I'm more of a visual person than a numbers person. And the, but if you're a numbers person, uh, looking at the table view is quite handy. Uh, inside this area, you can isolate things that you're looking for. So in this case, we're looking at things that are graded. And so I can, I, if I just want to look at my assignments, I can do that. You know, it qu quizzes and assignments, or you know, just the discussions. And you can drill down through your data. And here are a few details about that tool including participation and of course sorting, which is a really nice feature of the new, new analytics. Uh, you can, inside new analytics, you can download things. If you go to your reports tab, you can run reports and you can download them to your computer. So how can I access the report? Okay, so specifically you can go to uh, the people area, click on the student, 
And on the right hand side, you're going to see some buttons and the access report button is right there. So the access report shows when the students access content within the course and total number of students per content like assignments, quizzes, announcements, um, discussions. It even shows you uh, if somebody visit the people area and it has a data associated with that. Or, and also images. So are students reading my announcements? This is one of my questions that I often have. My announcements are a resource within the new annex data area, and it also is uh, available inside of the activities area. So specifically, we can see them accessing how many times they've accessed in the last time that they viewed it. And so in comparison to the access report, the new analytics also has an area where you can see the activities of your students specific, specifically by date. And I do a cross comparisons list a, a little later so we can take a look at that. Aha, the interactions report. So to get to the interactions report, you can select a specific student from the people area and then select interactions report. And that's on the right hand side of uh, the page as you can see. So I would like to show the messaging feature uh, with this app, we can send a message to a group of students that meet certain criteria. The group is uh, blind, carbon copied, and the only person that can uh, identify the students in this group is the instructor. And that's called communication. So inside of the new analytics area, there is a communications tab. And so when you interact with the students within uh, this type of criteria-based inter interaction, messaging, you'll see that communication inside these reports. If you contact them through the messenger um, that's in your, your Canvas na navigation bar outside the course, that communication doesn't show up inside this area. And I've tested it out and I don't see interactions uh, if I use the messenger that's in the, the blue navigation field of Canvas. So I'm working on a list of comparisons for each report, and this is what I have so far. Uh, this helps me figure out where I can find the data, and I, I keep adding to it because I keep on coming up with, with questions. Uh, and I'm sure you will too, as you start using the data, it's going to inspire you to come up with questions like, I never thought I could do such and such, and then you click and you go, well, there's that information. And how can I apply it to helping me with my course or creating materials or activities within my course that help the students, uh, uh, help them with their memory, help them with their skill set, and it helps us uh, interact a little bit easier. And as you see in this, this list, uh, this is actually the, a shorter list than what I've already created, but I couldn't put it in this presentation because it was quite lengthy. So I'm hoping to attach that in the, uh, the PowerPoint that we'll be sending out. But if you have any uh, uh, questions that are you know, on your mind and how can I find this data, please let us know. And here is the uh, support pages uh, for the new analytics report, uh, how to find information from the Canvas communities support pages, uh, the FAQ, the, uh, the specifically what is access report, what are the interactions report, and what is the Canvas support um, uh, pages that help us with this, uh, these, this data. Mary has a question. What is the benefit of, um, you know, narrowing down to one student versus like seeing the performance of the whole class. Um, I, I love that your, your timing, like reaching to specific students, the timing of it can really make the difference between them succeeding or not in the course. But what can we get from something that looks at the whole course? New analytics is a great tool for that because it gives you kind of a bird's eye view of what's happening inside your course. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you first come into the new analytics, you can see the assignments that you, um, you've already uh, made available, uh, the percentage of um, 
people accessing those assignments. And so when you want to drill down into an infant, and that's through the graph view, you can also do that through the table view. Um, but if you want to get specific in new analytics, you can do that too. You can actually zoom down in, through the table. If you in the table view, you can go down into the very just keep on clicking to find uh, the details of what student did what. Would you go back to that page in your in your presentation that shows those views so that we can get a visual of what you're talking about so that I can get a visual of what you're talking about? <laughs> so in here, I, these are all graded. So your assignments, your discussions, and your quizzes have a grade associated with them. And so in here, you're going to be able to see uh, these dots represent the entire class. Not a specific person. If I select 1 of these blue dots. It's going to tell me. How many students participated in that quiz. And, and so you know, that, that the average. Score, the score the is average. The average. Okay, all right. Thank you. That's a help. And then your next slide, please. Comparing the 2. Drilling down through the new analytics data, you can actually find uh, graphs and uh, specific students. So it makes a count of the students that uh, are late or missing, and pretty much that's all the new analytics does. It just shows you who's missing and who's late. You can click on uh, that hyperlink for uh, the total students that meet that criteria, and you can email them or message them. So in here, I can sort, I can drill down into the data. And I can actually see if somebody uh, looked at one of my announcements, for, for instance. Well, in this case, new analytics shows me a total amount of people that uh, look at the, uh, the announcement. If I go through the access report, I can see which students saw my announcement. Does that make sense? Uh, like yeah. here, I can go in there. Go, Has anybody been reading my announcements? And if I call the, if I call my announcements, like, like in this example, I have four announcements, and the first two announcements, I, I actually called an announcement, so I, I kind of know where, where to look inside my data. And so I have announcement one and two. And then in this other, just saying hi, announcement, I don't really know that's an announcement. So I like to at least put it in the title of my announcement that it's an announcement. And then I like to put also in the title of my announcement, I like to put in the content of my announcement, like uh, yes. announcement five, just saying hi. Okay, thank you. And and Mary, you your question is about drilling down to quiz questions. Um, I don't know if that's anywhere in new analytics, but I know that you can do that within uh, go into each quiz and where it says moderate. There's a moderate the quiz and there's a section up there for um, quiz analytics where you can see it question by question and student by student within that quiz. I don't know if Thank it's anywhere you. in the in your in these analytics, but I know that it is on the quiz page itself. Thank you, Judy. That's correct. Inside here we can see if the students accessed the quiz and when they accessed and uh, that we can see the students that did not access the quiz. But you can't see the quiz questions specifically. But they are available in Canvas that, to see the it is statistics for them. Michael said that uh, this is this is from checking on the announcements page rather than reading it through email. Interesting comment, interesting note. That is yeah, that's not that's something I thought about, right? You can't if you send an announcement and they look at it through your email, um this this is everything within the Canvas environment. Right, yeah. Good point. Thank you, Michael. Thanks all of you for joining us today. And uh, thank you, especially Linnell, for jumping in to, to this and being willing to really take that uh, deeper dive into analytics. Thank you. Mm -hmm.